shall we shall we st start it up and just for the fuck of it one time? Yeah, leave it like that. How you gonna get this on back here? This slides back here, sir. Bah! Exhausting. You got gut this though, right? Yes, my guy. That stays on. No, it doesn't. Nah, he got to like cut it. that, bro. Oh, there. I'm cutting that out. Make sure y'all stick around and y'all stay tuned for this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, because this video is going to be something else. Wow, something else. I'm putting that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> John, welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. As you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail and also the fact that we got Reaper in the shop, we are finally installing the H-pipe that I got from CJ Pony Parts. If you guys didn't already see that video, I'll go ahead and put a card up right here. Make sure you guys tap in and it'll also be linked to the end of this video. So make sure you guys tap in, smash that subscribe button right now if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications. So we're going to go ahead, cut the car on real quick, get a couple revs, give you guys a before and then we'll lift the car up, get the resonator off and go ahead and get started installing the s -pipe. I got my boy J.I. down here trying to put his car on the damn rack. Y'all know what he about to get ready to do. He already said it in the video, man. So y'all need to stick around and stay tuned. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, to the video, and all that good stuff. So y'all know what it is. Hey, bro, uh, you got a little bit of an issue, brother. You got a little bit of an issue? My car too damn Okay, low. so now his car is too damn low. We got a little bit of an issue. If you're staying at home, watching this, don't have nothing to do. Alright y'all, so we got the car up on the lift. So basically, that H-pipe is going to be replacing this fat suitcase of a resonator. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully get some more, you know, free-flowing airways for the exhaust. We already got the muffler delete like I told y'all earlier with the 5-inch single tips. Got the Eibach lowering springs. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tap in. But yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and get this joint off. I might, if we're lucky, do a basically open header start as soon as I take this joint off, see what it sounds like, and then we'll go ahead and get to cutting this resonator out and putting the H pipe in. What you just find there, bud? Oh, uh, wow. The, the weld the stick. Wow. You used to weld it. CN muffler, huh? On her capping. First day I was racially profiling the kid, now y'all bullshitting on the goddamn weld. They racially the, profiled you? Yeah, bro, this is the 10th car I brought these motherfuckers, and they. they they hit me with some bullshit. We're not gonna let go that. Back? We're not gonna let that negativity. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hit the car, I mean, I, I brother. It was. Car. It was too late. The car was already in the air. I was already hey, geez, they did, late they to go to these, work. But so what the fuck? they killed this shit though. That's, that's just that. Remember when I had type tried to do oh, the muffler oh, delete oh, by myself? Yeah. So he just had to type. <laughs> 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 So, so he had to cover that up, but it, it's it's a band aid. <laughs> so yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead get this whole uh, rear end section of the exhaust taken off of the car. Get you guys a quick little start up, and then we'll go ahead and start installing okay, the ace hold pipe. On, hold on. What you get? He told me to press the record button, and he's not ready yet. So y'all need to make sure y'all give this video a big, give this video a big thumbs up because this video right here is going to be hilarious. You know, I got my boy Versatile right here. Oh, yeah, you know, got my boy J.I. right here. And, uh, yeah. Hello? 
You're recording, brother. I appreciate that. Hello? Mike, after you just sat down for 10 minutes, you wanna, now you want to give it to him? Let me go ahead and record it right now so if anything happens, he can go back and look at it and see how it was on. So you taking the whole thing down? Yeah. Just for the cutting, the cutting purposes. So, JR, how was California, brother? Man, it was amazing. You know, got yeah. to see my family, my little brothers and all them, you know, and whatnot. Got to see some crazy cars. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tap in. I'll put a card up right there. or to be right there, whichever side it is. You know, it's reverse type. But make sure you guys go tap in, man. It was great. It was amazing. Can't wait to have my niggas out there, you know. We'll be lit, for sure. Now we're going to move on to the rear end back portion. I'm going to go ahead and use these 10 mils right here. Get these 10 millimeter bolts right here off. And then the hanger bolts off and the whole exhaust will come down. taken out man it's literally as simple as picking up the exhaust and pulling backwards getting these uh clips and they're basically the hangers are clipped onto the subframe so we just gotta lift up and pull back and then the whole rear end of the exhaust will come out my boy versatile speed would you mind assisting in the lifting of, remember we did this one we did the you, you got it brother you've been you've been working out and playing basketball and whatnot and other sports and what of the sorts. Oh, see, just on this one, you can't lose the key. <laughs> now watch out, man. Oh, 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 just for the fuck of it, one time? Alright y'all, so basically what we're doing is putting the H-pipe where the resonator is at this is making the marks for where we're going to be making the cuts. We're going to go ahead and cut the resonator off right now and get to installing the H-pipe on the exhaust and then bolts it back up to the car. Alright y'all, so we got that resonator cut it off. We're going to go ahead and test fit the H-pipe. Make sure the H-pipe clean. We went ahead and cut long ways. You always want to cut less than more when you're doing something like this because if you go too far, then you're going to be, you know what I'm saying, short pipe. You can't fix it if you went too far. So that's why, you know what I'm saying, we went small first and then we're going to test fit and make sure it clears and then we'll go from there. All right, for y'all sit up here and say, I don't do shit at work. I'm actually helping him today and he want me to grab the camera. He don't even want me to help him with the H pipe or nothing like that. As he got everything right here, he just told me to grab the camera. Like, grab the camera. So you gotta hook all that stuff back up? Yeah. I just had Paul cut it from off the, uh, hell no. Nah. It's easier with it all. That's one. All right, y'all, so basically, um, what you're gonna do after you cut that resonator off, you're gonna put the pipes back in place, go ahead and bolt them up, and then you're gonna place the H pipe in place of where the resonator used to go. I literally just changed gloves and this joint just busted already. So that being said, it's time to get the hands dirty. I'm tired of these dollar store gloves. We're finna just get to work straight off the rip. Okay. Okay. Maybe not, you have to expand it. Yeah. Oh, you gotta 
pouring a red amount. <laughs> H-pipe installed, about to go ahead and do the first startup, then we'll raise it up, make sure there's no exhaust leaks. Let's go ahead and fire up. Way better. Got a little bit of an exhaust leak. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up, see if I can find where it's at. Try to tighten everything up some more, see if that gets rid of it. All right, y'all. So as I suspected, there is a bit of an exhaust leak from the clamps, and that's what's gonna happen with clamps. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's always better to weld your exhaust. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to shift the clamps back just a little bit and see if that helps with the with the leak. All right, y'all. Like I said, you know what I'm saying is to be expected that there would be an exhaust leak from these clamps so this is just gonna be temporary what I'm gonna end up doing is having uh, a shop just weld uh, the connection pipes or where the pipe is connected right here that way we won't have a leak anymore and that is to beat these clamps other than that should be good to go I'm gonna go ahead and lower the car give you guys some sound clips just a couple rest y'all gotta stay tuned for the first drive video but overall it sounds way better than it did. I'm super happy with that one. Yeah, man I can't lie it sounds a thousand times better that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video I can't wait to go on the first drive so make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you haven't already make sure you smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a video get this video a big thumbs up if you like how the staying sounds now Reaper finally has a voice and don't think this is the end because it's only gonna get louder from here. I'm talking catless long tube headers. I'm talking Corsa exhaust to replace the full axle back, uh, cat back that we have on the car right now. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Give this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of the exhaust. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.